You won't try to replace dad, right? For no. us. Because <laughs> no one's going to replace your dad. Right. No one. Ugh. If you need a dad figure or a father figure or someone like that, he'll be whatever you need. I worry that my dad and the chance of having like a really close relationship my, with my dad is like slowly going away. She wants a dad big time, but she wants her dad. I think they're a great stepdad. Uh, I agree. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the kids will quite understand that they, I know they want it. But. It's been really strange, but over the last couple of years, as the kids have gotten older, their biological father spends less and less time with them. He doesn't financially take care of them at all, doesn't pay child support. He isn't calling them on a regular basis. He's just kind of absent in their lives. friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, November 18th, 2024. Do you remember season nine of Sister Wives where Cody Brown and Robin Brown concocted a fake storyline that Mary was going to divorce Cody for the sake of the kids and this adoption was necessary because the father was absent from the lives of the children, wasn't paying child support and was absent and was not paying for medical debt. They concocted this whole scheme after the public found out about the divorce and after Dayton was involved in a massive ATV accident that was caused by Cody's negligence when he was 12 years old and riding an ATV for the first time and a child with autism that had no experience and wasn't being properly supervised and definitely wasn't wearing a helmet and drove into a barbed wire fence. The accident occurred at a home in Utah, in St. George, and Robin's ex-husband wanted to know where the accident happened, if there was property insurance that could cover the cost, if there was lawsuits that could be filed for the injuries, and they, he wanted to know who Dayton was with when the accident occurred. And these were answers that he never received. And instead of allowing Preston the opportunity to learn the truth, they browbeat him into a adoption and promised him that he would maintain a relationship with his children. They promised that he would still see the kids. They promised regular phone calls with him, but they didn't make good on any of those promises. A lot of people ask, why did Preston give up the rights of his children? And the answer was because TLC had a massive pressure campaign on him. Massive prob promises were made to him that said he would still see his children and and he didn't have the money to fight the TLC machine, the narrative of Cody being the hero adopting the children and this public campaign to prove Cody as the best father. When you have a network and a team of lawyers stacked against you and you have a network posting that you're a deadbeat father that's abusive, what do you do? And also when you've been left broke because your ex-wife spent all of your money and left you in massive debt due to her spending, how do you even afford it? You can't. But that's what happened to Preston Jessup. And I have talked about this a lot on this channel. The adoption storyline was fake. It was fabricated. And it wasn't the reason why Cody divorced Mary. Mary Brown has had to maintain this lie that she divorced Cody for the, the adoption. and. This family ripped apart children from a father that loved them. The storyline and the adoption, when it occurred on TLC, there was a lot of outrage from fans. A lot. In fact, back when this adoption went public and, it, and the episode aired, even Mary Brown expressed her outrage at what TLC had done to these children. And it's stark contrast to what she says on the show. All About the Tea, a blog that actually covered all of this when it happened, happened to grab a screenshot of Mary who had stated that a screenshot of Mary who had liked a tweet by a person on Twitter. This was tweeted on October 4th. Back then, it was called Favorites. 
they now are called likes. But it said, shame on you for taking their father away from them. I hope they all resent you for that underhanded trick. That was in response to Cody and to Robin and to TLC. And Mary favorited that. Why would Mary favor a tweet shaming them for taking their father away from them? They forced Mary to a divorce him because that's what Cody wanted. He wanted to marry Robin because he wanted Robin's children. He wanted Robin's children because not only was Preston asking questions about the accident, he also didn't want the kids to film. Multiple family members that I've spoken to and friends of Preston have told me that in the months leading up to all of this, there were lots of fights about filming because Cody wasn't a legal guardian and because their contracts required that any parent had to legally consent to the child being able to film. Preston was an obstacle that they needed to get rid of because they wanted their kids to film. Cody wanted the property of the children so they would film for the show. He also didn't want Robin to leave him because she would be bound by a contract legally in a marriage. Now, I've talked about this in many videos, so you can check my playlist. I'm not making this up, and I have all the receipts to show you, but I'm not going to show you in this video. But under that backdrop of this nasty adoption and the ripping apart of a family and taking children away from their father, kids that, by the way, didn't appear very happy, Dayton and Brianna weren't thrilled when this all went down. Isabel is now grappling with what it looks like when her mom has a new boyfriend and she's talking about marrying that boyfriend and she's trying to understand what that means for her future with her father. Isabel's only picture of divorce is what has occurred within her family. She watched her father, Cody, rip the children away from their dad and replace them. Now Isabel is fearing that this is what David will do to her, despite there being no evidence that this would ever happen. Check it out. So I'm worried that my relationship with my father will be desolate and will like not exist anymore because David will... I, should, I don't mean to like say that he would be that kind of person because he would only ever come into any situation with like everybody else in mind and only with respect of everybody else as well. I've always wanted you guys to have a great relationship with your dad. Yeah. A great one. So David coming in, all that does is someone else to love. But replacing dad, no. Christina said in many interviews that her children have daddy issues and it breaks her heart. And as poignant and honest as that is, I hate to say it, but the women bear some responsibility in the fact that their children have daddy issues. They stayed with men, a man that was absent in their lives. They settled for nothing. They settled for less for their children under the guise of a fake religion. And Christine stayed in this situation for years because of the money they were making on the show. And now that she's left, she most certainly has a right to be happy. But the ripple effect of the damage that's been done to this kids is so helpable because all Isabel ever wanted was a relationship with her dad. All she wanted was a dad that was there and present in her life. And she was born into a system where she had absolutely no choice whatsoever. And she grew up having to share her dad with a bunch of other people and kids and wives. And her dad punished her because of his relationship with her mom. Cody stopped caring about Christine's children because Christine didn't want to be with him anymore, because Christine wasn't being obedient to him anymore. He stopped being interested in her and as a byproduct of her kids because he never viewed the kids as anything other than an extension of the wives. And when a wife wasn't being submissive and obedient and sweet, he punished the kids. Isabel has been put through hell by Cody. He forced her to go through all of these ridiculous steps in order to try to cure her scoliosis without surgery, with doctors adamantly telling them that the boot camps and all these other alternative strategies weren't going to work and it was only going to prolong the inevitable. And, and all the while, she would remain in pain. 
they put off the surgery for years because Cody did not want to pay. He didn't want her to have rods in her back. He didn't want her to have a scar. He didn't want her temple desecrated. His selfishness. When she finally got the surgery, Cody wasn't there to help her. Didn't help. Didn't pay. Wasn't around. And it's really weird that Cody and Robin completely degraded and lambasted a man in Montana who Robin had financially desecrated and called him an abuser when he wasn't, accused him of of stealing her purity, which is basically accusing him of rape, calling him a deadbeat father and a not involved father. Some of the last text messages between Preston and Robin before this adoption happened had to do with Preston wanting custody of the kids. Why would a dad that didn't love his kids want custody of his children? Robin shamed her ex-husband for actually doing exactly what Cody has done to Christine's children. He hasn't shown up for them. When Truly was in the hospital, he didn't pay for any of her medical expenses. He didn't pay for any of Isabel's surgery. He isn't paying child support for Truly, and he's absent from her life. Everything she accused her ex-husband of doing, Cody is doing tenfold, and Cody is doing it in from a front of a public audience for profit, all the while her children are reaping the benefits at the detriment of everyone else. No matter what Cody has done and the harm that he has caused, all children want are the love of their parents. Even if your dad is the worst person in the world and has hurt you, kids yearn for the love of their children, of their parents. They want their mom and dad to love them. They want to be viewed by their parents. They want a relationship with their parents. Other people coming into their lives will never replace the parent that they want or desperately miss or that's been taken from them. So Isabel has already witnessed what has happened in her family when a new person comes in. She has watched that the new man takes the other children away from the old man. There's no reason to believe that David would ever do this. And I don't think that Christine would ever allow David to adopt, to adopt the kids because I don't think Christine's gonna let Cody get the easy way out. David, like, he comes off as, like, a very, like, present dad, like, with his children. So, I mean, how lovely would that be, right? So, I would love to have a relationship that is as amazing with my own father. Can you imagine growing up in a world where it was just normal to watch your dad have so many women in his life? And even when he's got the number of wives that he has, he's still continuously chasing fame, money, and more women. And all of this is done at the detriment of all of the children and the wives that he already has. And because of the the selfishness of your father, you have zero relationship with him. And because your father is mad at your mother, you don't have a relationship with your dad. And because your dad found a new woman, and wanted her children because he wanted to have rights to them for filming. He adopts those kids, but you're still not claimed on a birth certificate by him. You don't have a legal connection to your dad because he's never claimed you legally. You're just a person. And now you're out of that with your father. You've moved away. He barely talks to you, but then he's on a show with the other children playing best dad of the year, shoveling with them, having snow fights, taking the daughter that you were close to, Aurora, to get her ears pierced, praising your sister Aurora as being so obedient and so submissive to his rules and and his authority while you're just ignored. Having your dad say that all of his kids are jerks and his your stepmom basically say that you are a part of the reason why your siblings that are her kids hate you, even though you were close with those girls up until the point that the family split. And now those girls hate you for no reason and none of your own fault. And then you find yourself watching your mom find a new guy and you're terrified that this guy is going to do what your dad did because that's what your dad did. He ripped a family apart and took the place of Robin's ex-husband, Christine's assuring him, her, that David would never do that. And I, again, I don't see David doing that. That would just be contrary to her filing for paternity and child support. If Christine wanted Cody out of the picture, she wouldn't be trying to hold him accountable. 
in court to taking care of his kids. She wants her kids to be recognized and cared for and acknowledged by Cody. And she's going to co- go to court to have it happen. And even then, he might not care. But regardless, now you see the new guy, and he's a good father, and he, his kids and he have a great relationship, and he's present in their lives, and his world revolves around them. And you start to think, oh, I guess the way I grew up wasn't normal, and this is not what the model of a dad is. Dads can actually be present in their lives and can be there for you and can care for you and can love you. The amount of pain that these kids have got to go through watching their father showcase the chosen family as the perfect ones while discarding all the rest has got to be so painful. My heart goes out to them. And I wasn't super thrilled with how Christine handled some of this episode when it came to her daughter's concerns about moving fast and not looking for red flags or any of that. I think Christine might look back in time and look back and realize that she really didn't listen to her kids. And that doesn't mean she didn't have to be with David. There was no reason that it had to go so fast. Her kids had been traumatized by their father and by the divorce that all of them needed time. She could have waited, but she didn't wait. And that doesn't mean that this marriage won't last. I think she will one day look back and regret some of the choices she's made because not only did it play out going fast, but it's playing out very publicly. And that's painful for kids. Divorce is one of the most traumatic experiences children can go through. It doesn't mean that you should stay married and be in a loveless marriage, but I think it's important to acknowledge the pain that the kids are going through and recognize that even though she's an adult, she's a very young adult when this was filmed. She was probably 19 years old, maybe 20. That's not even a frontal lobe being fully developed. So Cody's being blasted for not being present in her life. She's fearful that David will be like Cody. Christine's assuring her that he won't be like Cody and that he won't try to take over. And again, another one of Cody's children is bawling during an episode. And you know what I thought was really weird about this is Cody always has so much to say in his talking heads. And during this entire part of the episode, Cody wasn't silent. There was no interjecting comments from Cody about what his daughter was saying. That could have been an opportunity for Cody to interject and say, I will be an involved father. I will be there for my daughter. But that didn't happen. It could have happened. It's gross. So, and it's fucked up. I think I'm going to start using that in every video. What are your thoughts about all of this? Let me know about them in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click the bell so you never miss a video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye, guys.